What is going on YouTube? It's Day Life here and today's video is going to be on the Vizio 5.1 surround sound system. This is the 2017 version. It came out about a month ago and I was able to get the last one at Best Buy. These retail for $250 but I was able to put it down to $228 because Walmart was selling it for $228 and they price matched. So anyways guys, let's get right into it. This is my first surround sound system or sound bar ever. I've been using my, you know, stock TV speakers and I thought it was about time to upgrade, but I, I didn't want to spend $500, $600. Um, and this, you know, I'm going to give this a shot. It has Chromecast built in with a bunch of apps. Basically what Sonos has that you can stream anything to it, except I didn't have to pay 700, 600 bucks for the sound base and their sound bar. Um, and you know, Vizio, they've, they've had a good reputation with sound bars. Again, I know this is not a $500, $600 system, so I'm not putting it in that league, but 200 bucks, you can't beat it. Anyways, let's get right into the components, guys. All right, so it's nicely packed here. So this comes with the sound bar, the two satellite speakers, and the subwoofer. And the sub is um, it's wireless, so that's a plus. So all right, here there's, there's, some, there's some hefty weight to it. You know, I would say this is maybe three pounds, maybe. Um, let's get rid of the tape here. This is tape nice. Okay, gotta give it a good, good tug. There you go. Okay, so this is one of the little satellite speakers. It looks very nice, very elegant. You know, it's not super cheesy looking. I like it. One connection right there, and it's got a, a mesh. You know, um, soft cloth. All right, so let's put this one away. There's the other one, numero dos, number two. Me, bam, rip that one open there. Okay. This is the second one. I like, it's got the, uh, the holes here so you can put it on a stand, of course. Man, and they feel good. Like it feels like for the price, it really feels well made. You know, I have a, a TV, a, a Vizio TV, like a 32 inch that I bought like eight years ago and it's still going strong. All right, let's go with the Big Daddy sub. Now, what I do like about this sub is that it's not huge. You know, it's not super long in length. So you can technically put it anywhere. Hold on, uh, I'll get back in frame here. Man, this is a nice looking sub. Looks elegant. This here looks like a logo from Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, it, it's nice. It's not big. This It's got some, some nice weight to it. it. It's got, you know, good quality. It feels, for the price, I am, it feels nice. You know, again, I haven't listened to it here. So, again, sound and the way it looks are two different things. <laughs> All right, let's go with the sound bar now. This is a 32 inch sound bar. I have a 65 inch TV and this one is good for, you know, 40 and up. So let me see, I'm getting, ripping out the tape here. Whoop, okay. All right, here it is. It's got buttons here, okay. The back, it's got an ethernet connection, USB. Um, let me peel this out here. Well, let me peel this. HDMI out, ARC, HDMI in. So again, for this price, you know, we're getting uh, DTS. And I know that Sonos was missing 
Uh, Sonos only does DTS, and this does, I think, two more things that it decodes. I don't know which ones they are, though. Okay, here we have, you download the SmartCast app to connect it. You have digital, your ACN, your optical, and your auxiliary. Whoa, your auxiliary, optical, power, and digital. It's got some nice little weight to it. Feels very nice. I like it. All right. Let me put this away here. Okay. Now, let's get to well, the contents in this box. Now, I opened this already to take a look, and I love the way they set this up right here. This right here, organized. All the cables you need are here. You have your quick start guide. Put that to the side. You have your power cable, and it's all labeled. Everything is labeled right there. I really, really like how Vizio set this up. You have your satellite cable, labeled. Everything is labeled here. Your remote. The remote has an LCD screen here, so you could see what your inputs and outputs you have your satellite cable. This is for the left one. This is the uh, power cable for the subwoofer. Again, labeled. This is awesome. I, I really like how they did this here. Coax cable. DC cable. These, these puppies, RCA. Haven't used those in a long time. And of course, your optical uh, digital cable. Very nice. You even get an HDMI cable. Like, th this right here is good stuff. And these here are your wall mount brackets. It even has wall mount brackets. You know? Um, what a, This one here, another wall mount bracket. I guess for each, each uh, satellite speaker. This right here, very nice organization right here. Look at this. Whoop. I like this. I like how Vizio did this. Anyways, guys. I am going to be setting this up, so stand by. Alright guys, so I finally got to set up the system. It took me about, I would say, 20-30 minutes. Um, it was simple, but I, you know, I like to take my time. I read the manual, uh, setting up the HDMI arc, uh, so I could control the volume with my TV remote instead of the, uh, the Vizio remote. Um, I set up the app on my phone. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Here's the bar. Right there. Looking nice, looking nice. Right there, my NVIDIA Shield. My uh, 4K Samsung HEU 8550 with the Evolution Kit back here. And I set everything up through the HDMI cable. So I just have that one HDMI cable and the power cable in the other corner. Now, I have the subwoofer right here. It's kind of messy. And I don't have a stand for the satellite speakers. So I kind of just bootlegged and I put one here, as you guys can see. Put one there until I get my... Um, the stands for it, which I'll probably put one right here, and then I put my other one. I'll show you guys right. I put the other one right here for now. So once I get the uh, the stand, obviously it's going to be some you know somewhere there, and it's got the screw right there in the back to set it up. As of right now, though, I have to kind of just put it right there, and it's working just fine. It's it's not that bad. All right, so let's get back. All right, so we're going to put it here. going to do a little sound test. Um, so I can control the volume with my Samsung TV remote. Right there, you see how it says receiver? So I all I had to do was set it up through the HDMI and enable the uh, setting on my TV. So let's give this a shot. 
I'm gonna start off uh, very low, you know, and then raise it. I would say this is at about 70 percent. Alright guys, so that I set that up up to I think like I don't know uh 80% and it's still clear the bass is nice and just it's very clear. You know, there there's no distortion, it's not like wah, blowing up. No, sounds very clear. Alright guys, this is going to be the uh speaker test that you could do through the um the remote itself. Well, the remote itself or you could do on the app on the LED screen right here you can see speaker test left front left front center center right front right front right rear right rear left rear left rear So that's just a speaker test. I was with the volume, you know, low. It wasn't high or anything. So that's how that sounded. You could do that to test to make sure your speakers are working properly. All right, guys, this is going to be Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation 4 Pro with the new uh, Vizio 5.1 surround system. I'm going to put in the intro movie, let it roll through, you know, put it at about, I'm going to put it at about 70 or 80 percent of the volume and, you know, Listen through. Alright guys, so that was a little bit of the intro, you know, the, I know there weren't any explosions or any anything big like that, but maybe you could get a feel of the system. I had it at about 70%, so it wasn't that much, that high, um, but it, it just feels very rich from all the angles. Even the little satellite speakers sound very, very good. Alright guys, this is going to be me casting uh, Spotify to the sound bar so you could know, you know, the sound quality of it. This is with the volume. 
like 40 percent 30 and now I'm gonna go higher now So yeah guys, that's a little taste. I can't keep that thing up because I live in an apartment though. But uh, yeah, it, it sounds great for 230 bucks, 250 bucks. This is great. I still need to fiddle around with the settings and everything can be controlled from the app on your phone. The treble, the bass, everything. So you can fine tune everything. You can also, what I noticed is that you could set those settings depending, you know, for different inputs and outputs, uh, inputs. So for, you know, when you cast from Spotify, it'll have a different equalizer setting for music versus when you're playing through the TV, it'll have a specific setting for that. So everything can be controlled through your phone. If someone is over your home, they can queue up songs and stuff from any, um, any music source, Pandora, Spotify, and it'll be all queued up behind each other. As long as they're in the same Wi-Fi network as you. Other than that, guys, I highly recommend you know this soundbar, man, for 230, 240, 250. Again, it's not no Sonos play bass or soundbar, but for the price, less than half the price, this is some good, good stuff, especially with the Google Cast and the millions of apps that you can cast straight to it. It also you got Bluetooth, it's got HDMI in and out, it's got optical. And it supports every single, you know, uh, Dolby, except Atmos. You know, Atmos is a whole other story, but not many people care about Atmos. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, if you want to, if you want me to test anything specific, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.